Good afternoon. This is only going to be a brief presentation, but it's probably a wise idea to check the dates on articles you use for pieces of writing and so on. Everyone makes mistakes, of course. I do it as well. And if you, as someone points it out, it's usually a good idea to go and check if the person is correct or you are correct. With that said, let's have a look at a certain claim by a certain historian again today. This is Mr. Webb's Substack account, where you get these wonderful productions. Well, we'll stick with that. Let's see what Mr. Webb has to say today. The rise of Islam, the conversion of Christian places of worship in England into mosques. And Mr. Webb is going on about multi-fate chapels in, in airports, because after all, every time I go to Mass, I think... Let's get down to the airport and and have mass in the multi freight pair room. It's it's just what you think of on a Sunday. You take take the old folks or the missus or the kids if you have kids, and you and you bang on down to the multi freight prayer room. But in itself, that wouldn't bother me so much. But this is where it gets start getting silly. In November 2021, a rabbi travelling from New York landed there and decided to conduct his morning prayers in said prayer room. On, upon entering the room, a uniformed airport employee told him that he would have to remove his shoes, as is the practice of Islamic mosques. When the rabbi explained that this was not part of his religion as a Jew, the man insisted, and so the rabbi left. In short, his rose multi-faith area is not a multi-faith area at all. But vote, vote especially to those who practice Islam. Unfortunately for Mr. Webb, he's used this particular claim before so at least once, I can remember. And it, unless he can prove it relates to some other rabbi traveling through Heathrow, um, it relates to this. Heathrow apologized to rabbi told to take shoes off in prayer room. Do you notice the date? November the 13th, 2015. That's a bit before 2021. And let's read it out. Shabbat Rabbi Shmuley Brown landed at Heathrow from New York on Tuesday and went to the airport's multi-faith pair room to recite morning prayers before catching his connecting flight to Manchester. Brown, who is a rabbi at Liverpool University, told the UK's Jewish Chronicle that he was stopped in a person uniform, though I'm not sure from what department. So how do you know he even works at the airport would be my question. Um, you'd have to have some, you, you get all sorts of people running around an airport, some of them talking absolute rubbish or trying to pan land law for you or annoy you. Obviously a bit stupid to be annoying a Jewish bloke and telling him to take off his shoes before entering a prayer room. But a person in uniform could mean anything. Plenty of people wear prep uniforms who don't work for airports and are wandering around it as part of meeting somebody or, I don't know, picking people up. Rabbi Brown later on said said on Twitter that the man was a Muslim worker at the airport, but he doesn't know from which department. So we have a, an idiot on one side telling the rabbi to take his shoes off, and we have an unsupported claim on the other side that he works at the airport, but we can't say which department. A bit silly on all sides, but it's also nine years old, and it's been used to establish some sort of giant sort of claim it's a it's a tempest in a teapot silly situation of the type, type that pops up with people arguing in any large space where people share fates now here's the jewish chronicle amusingly enough from the other day this is the jewish chronicle from may the 31st yesterday which starts off with diane abbott but notice what it puts above it with no date it puts smoolie brown up there no date though there's no date at the top of that. You can't, you don't get a date on the Jewish Chronicles paper until you keep going down a bit. Now, perhaps Mr. Webb accidentally looked at that and thought it was a. But then again, that's a current event, so it can't be 2021, can it? Perhaps Mr. Webb would care to explain the discrepancy. And just before I stop, let me stop sharing. And point out that um, I made several comments. And yes, it's me, Mr. Webb, on your Substack account. I make no bones about it, commenting that yeah, it was you. 
Um, this is not exactly great fact checking or, or very rigorous. So if you could explain the discrepancy, I'm sure your audience would love to hear it. Let me share the bits from the sort of um, desktop I've got here where you've said it. Because it is quite funny. Let me close that down. You said it, so we presume you you meant it. Let's open up the two places where you said it. This is your airport comments. I'll open them up and share them. And I'll open up the whole rabbi, the whole thing. And I'll share them both. And you can perhaps explain the discrepancy to us later on in the day. It should be quite interesting. Here's the whole of his sub stack, which I'll have to zoom in because of the way it saved it. But here we go in November 2021. Unless Mr. Webb's going to argue that I created that and typed up a 3,000 word essay in in about half an hour, which I, I don't really think is, is a very vi valid claim. And here's his comments underneath my comments back to him. So, Simon, unless there is some other rabbi traveling around through Heathrow that this happened to, and you can produce an article on that, um, this seems unsupported as a claim. Your call at this point. Let me just minimize myself, and that's that. Quite funny though. Every time these strange, these strange claims that aren't supported. <laughs> 